Good morning. Uh, we are going to start uh, the next session on Unix, and that is uh, shell scripting. So basically, uh, we will cover introduction to shell, what is uh, shell scripting, programming construct, language constructs. Command and shell. Uh, command is a program which interacts with kernel uh, to provide environment and uh, perform functions called by the user. The shell is a command line interpreter. The user interacts with kernel through the shell. You can write ASCII or text scripts to act upon by a shell. The shell sits between you and the operating system acting as a command interpreter. It reads your terminal input and translates the command into action taken by the system. When you log in to the system, you are given a default shell, eco dollar shell, or cat slash etc password. This will give you the shell that you are in. So I am logging as techmin. Um, who am I? So I am techmin. So eco dollar shell. dollar shell so i am using bash shell which is the default shell of uh, linux linux has a default shell of bash so that's what we are going to use then bi root etc pss word password bi so you can see this is my user techmint and the shell is a bash bash shell so that's about shell when the shell starts up it reads its startup files and may set environment variables command search paths command aliases and executable command specified in this file login dot bash log dot profile dot bash profile one of these scripts get run at startup dot logout uh, dot bash underscore logout one of these gates run when you log out or quit a shell dot cshrc dot kshrc dot bash uh, bash rc one of these gates run you run when you start a new shell as opposed to logging in for example would be when you start a new extram dot cshrc and dot kshrc are run if you use ksh and dot bash dot bash rc is run if you use bash so there are different types of shell but we will be using bash shell the file that contains a valid unit command why shell program the first shell program let's open this so if we if we run this program first sh first dot sh let's open a file first dot sh type in our type in our command it should be equal equal Okay, then change mode seven 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 first dot sh. Now let's run first dot sh dot sh. 
sorry, dot slash first dot sh. So this is the outcome. This is our first shell. We are not writing hello world program. Today is date, then date. Following people are logged in, then terminal. This is enough for the first shell. So if you see the command, we are requiring this is our first shell, then the next echo line. Then we have done a command substitution here and printing today's date. The following day is a login, then we are using the who command. And this is enough. So this is what it get printed. Naming a scale script, you have also seen naming a scale script, what the program contains. What is hash exclamation example? Let's see. Bang ba. V I bang ba dot S H. We paste this. We save this and seven 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 bang bar dot sh dot slash bang bar dot sh. So this is what it gets printed. Whatever command you type, that will get printed. That's how and identifier common special character environment variable variable return code loops operation or conditional operators etc. These are the meaning of some of the special characters. Used by shell to customize the user environment, path, home, mail, PS1, PS2, log name, term, TZ. User variables defined by the user. The shell provides string valued variables. Variable name begins with the letter and consists of letter, digit, and underscore. Name equal to value. Example class is equal to within quotes, unique shell scripting. Class equal to a Java class. Class is equal to a CPP class. Quotes, these are related to quotes. <clears throat> this is command substitution here an example of command substitution this is not a quote but a command substitution okay positional parameters first name middle name last name so it takes three parameters Let's copy this. Where type dot sh. Yeah, where type type dot sh.
60 parameters. Okay. First name is John, middle name is Nancy, last name is Peter. Total number of arguments are three. Arguments are John, Nancy, Peter. Arguments are John, Nancy, Peter. My where is my value? So if you see the shell scripting, what it is doing is dollar one is the first parameter, dollar two is the second parameter, dollar three is the third parameter. Special parameter total number of argument dollar hash, which will print total number of arguments. Arguments are dollar star, arguments are dollar at. Both are same. Variable my value is equal to my value. Eco my value is my value. My dollar my value. So dollar my value is my value. So that's get printed. Okay. Now next. Let's copy this. Named where dot SH VI named where dot SH So what this script is doing, enter a value of my where, so the user will enter a value. We have a read command which reads from the standard input and then it equals that value. Total number of arguments and dollar hash, my where is equal to dollar one. My so we have to pass our argument also using special parameter my value is equal to dollar hash my value of my value is equal to dollar my value my value is equal to ls okay let's run this with dot slash named where what this says dot slash named where dot sh peter enter a value of my where john so my where is john it has taken the value which i have input so it has given john and Position of arguments are one, I pass one argument and that value is Peter. Why, where value is one special par parameters for value of current year is 2019. So well, that's the next script. Add is as you can see, another type of variable supported by shell that contains collection of values. Array name subscript will get different values. Examples of arrays are given here. Different way of creating arrays. Array exam dot So it is creating an array, then it is looping through the array and 
equating each of the element this is another way of setting the values and another way of looping through the elements so let's copy this array exam dot sh vi array exam dot sh mode seven exam dot sh now if I run this, Okay, this one from okay for so So we are getting these values in the example. Okay. Appending to the array, so we can append to an existing array. Every command, every command has a return value depending on success or failure of it, how to check echo dollar one. So, this, this command, this command and this command, they are used to check arithmetic operations similar to EXPR, for example, If a dollar a equal to dollar b equal a equal to b not equal to b dot a not equal to b greater than less than b greater than b less than equal to b greater than equal to b. So a is five, b is five, c is and d is and e is six. So some test conditions are there. Let's run this program. Conditional dot sh vi conditional dot sh So these are the values that get printed. And if you see the program, the conditions, the conditions are, the conditions that have been used. So this is how you do a conditional test in Shell.
then test command evaluates a predicate and returns the result as, as it exists exist status state test string to if the string is not null is not null test minus a file true if the file exists test minus r file true if the file is readable test minus w file true if the file is writable test minus a file true if the file is executable test minus d file true if the file is a directory so let's copy If exam dot sh bi if exam dot sh Please provide this one or go test. File does not exist. File does not exist. So basically, this uh, test different conditions and different condition using the test operator. We also see this. Less than one dollar has provided at least one argument. So this is the if else condition in shell scripting. Okay, so that's it for today. We'll continue with shell scripting tomorrow in the second session. Thank you.